Hello viewers, welcome to this video. I'm PBS the Tutor Zambia and under physics today I have a problem which says below is an instrument used in the industries by scientists. This is an, an instrument. Now it says name the instrument, what physical quantity is measured by the instrument and what is the reading on this instrument. So uh, for me I give explanations that are direct to the point. For you, you are going to understand this even if you haven't yet understood it. So first of all, let's look at the solutions. Name of the instrument. So this instrument is what we call a micrometer screw gauge or gauge. Doesn't matter. Please, please make sure you write the correct word. Correct spelling. Micrometer. All right. Screw gauge. Like that. So micrometer screw gauge. So this is an instrument which is used to measure the diameters or radius of very, very tiny object. Or in short, I can say the thickness of tiny object. For example, if I want to measure the, th the thickness of paper or the thickness of uh, a very thin wire or, your, or the thickness of your, of, your, of your hair, you can use a micrometer screw gauge. Simple as that. What physical quantity is measured by the instrument? Now, how many physical quantities do you know? There's length, there's time, there's mass, there's volume, and so on. All those are physical quantities. Now, which one is measured by this? So the physical quantity measured by a micrometer screw gauge is length. A meter loo, a venya calipers, a measuring tape, a micrometer screw gauge, all these, they measure length as a physical quantity. Is it, uh, uh, is it clear? Then C says, what is the reading on this instrument? So what is the reading on this instrument? So the reading on this instrument is first we need to get the reading from the sleeve, from the sleeve and get from the thimble. This part that we are seeing here is what we call the sleeve. Or this part here is what we call the thimble. So the, the thimble is acting as, what can I say? We have the main scale and the venous scale. Yeah, so like that. So the sleeve and the thimble. So you get the reading from the sleeve and you get the reading from the th from the thimble. Then you do the need if then you add them together. So how do we do that? So from the sleeve leading, from the sleeve, we are going to any any line which is down here represents a 0 0.5, take note of that. So if this is 3, this is 3.5, that is 4, that is 4.5. Do we have any line there? No, we don't have. So from the sleeve we have zero sorry we have 4.5 now these are in millimeters is it clear these are what are in millimeters then so we have the sleeve here we have the sleeve then we have the thimble like that so here we have 4.4.4.5 millimeters then let's go to the let's go to the to the what to the thimble so the thimble you're going to get you you, you get the the reading with uh from a line which is in the same line as this line from the sleeve so just do this and check which line is is in the same line as the line coming from here so that is a line there so count this is 25 26 27 28 that is 28. So you get your 28. So you get your 28. Now, 28 from here, you are going to multiply this by the what you call the least count. Now, the least count of the micrometer screw gauge differs, but at your level, we use a standard one we call 0 0.01 millimeters. And this will give you 0 0.28 millimeters. What you do, you get this to now, you add them. So that will be your final reading. You see, slowly and slowly. And I'm sure you've known now. So 4.5. I'm, I'm writing this in millimeters. I don't know what I'm centimeters. Wow, you haven't even converted them yet. So the final reading is 4. Uh, that will be 7. Then what? D? eight millimeters. It's done.
so thank you so much for joining me in this video by the way we have online classes very affordable we teach for the betterment of you